Welcome to the tutorial. Here, I will guide you through the basic controls and some common gameplay elements. First, let's start with some basics, shall we? The basic movement is controlled by the WASD keys, and you can look around with your mouse. Try it. Good. You can also jump with the spacebar. Try jumping up the platform. Hop. Marvelous. You can now jump around as much as you want. Hop. The next step is why you are here, the combat. You can attack with the left mouse button. You can do this either by tapping it repeatedly or just keeping it pressed. You can also press the left mouse button during a jump for higher damage. Give it some swings. Try holding down the right mouse button. You will start a charging attack, which damages and pushes enemies away from you. The more you charge, the bigger the impact it will have. By attacking a target, you will gain energy, which is necessary for using skills. I will spawn you a dummy. Try hitting it. Can you see the number that disappeared below your avatar? This number shows you how much energy you currently have. There are three skills that you may use, and this number will determine which skill will be casted. A skill can be used by pressing the X key. Great, you have completed the basic combat tutorial. You may now try the other skills. When you are ready to proceed, go to the target location. Now, we will proceed with the game mode explanations. There are some different objects that the game modes can use. The most basic example is a flag. You can pick it up if you stand on it. Try to take it. What you do with the flag is defined by the game mode. For example, in the capture the flag, you have to take the enemy's flag and bring it to your own base. Try carrying the flag to your base. And that's a score! If you are killed while you hold the flag, it will be dropped, and anyone can pick it up. You can also reset a dropped flag, if it belongs to your team. Alright, now let's look at the capture. In some game modes, there are points which need to be captured. You can tell if it's already yours by the icon floating above the area. If it's yellow, it's owned by Team Nehru, green for Miku, and grey for Neutral. Stand on it to capture. You can check the conquer progress under the mini-map. That's all about conquest locations. The next object is the Chibi Gaido. In some game modes, you will either need to defend or destroy them. I'll spawn one for you. Keep hitting it until it breaks. That will teach him. The next object is a coin. Jump on it to collect. That was easy. I think we have cleared all the game objects. The only things remaining are the power-ups. They are scattered through the map in every game mode and give superior advantages over your enemies. Be sure to use them. Power-ups are randomly spawned. I will give you back the dummy. Try them out. The tutorial ends here. If you've finished, you may leave using the menu.